Hey guys, Freedom iPhone 50. Today we got a special thing for you guys. We've got an Extreme DI high pressure fuel pump. This is the EVO. And we're gonna be installing it, installing it on my 2016 2.7 liter with upgraded turbos and all kinds of crazy stuff. Um, if you've seen any of my other videos, you know all about this truck already. So let's just dive right into the install. All right, so we've got a couple things here. We've got a little connector. We've got our screws to mount the pump. Work of art right here. So our first uh, order of business is if you look at the engine on the 27 on the F-150, the high pressure fuel pump is right there. Release this little clip right here on this line. And um, then there's gonna be a lot of pressure behind this. So I already let the pressure on mine off, um, but it, it's gonna spray out of there pretty crazy. So just get a rag ready. Um, but then you're gonna just take that line. And then you're gonna to wanna to take this line off. And then you're gonna take these bolts slowly out. That one and this one. So just take this one off and you'll be good to go. Okay guys, so we got this one off. Now we're gonna go for this one. I've loosened it just a little bit. So now I'm gonna start undoing it. You can kind of hear the pressure. Just get our towel down here. Just kind of let all the pressure off. Oop, there it comes. It's kind of a kind of a tight fit. It's doable though. So just doing a few turns on each on each one. And I'm not going to do super small turns because of how pain in the butt this is to get to. This one's almost worse because it's jammed right up against like, this big fat coolant hose that I wish wasn't there. So we're just going to unbolt that. All right guys, so once you slide it off these, uh, these two studs, you're just gonna take um, this connector and you're gonna disconnect it. So we went ahead and uh, disconnected that connector right there. And here we have the stock high pressure fuel pump. All right guys, so we are putting the, this little plate that comes with the pump, we're putting this in. Um, I'm just getting these screws in, the shorter ones, and then we'll clock the pump, get the pump on here and get it clocked so that it hits these two little holes here. And then we'll stick it in. All right, so now that we have the bracket in there, we're gonna just stick the pump down in here. All right, we've got the connector plugged in got one of these screws started right here and then we'll get the other one down below and I just kind of have spun the fuel line out of the way and we'll just tighten these up and we'll get the fuel line back on and the fuel return back on and or the sorry the low pressure and the high pressure side 
and then we'll be good to go. All right, guys, so the process is over. We got the XDI fuel pump in. It was kind of a little bit of a difficult process. Um, I had to take this whole line off. There's a connection, as you can see right there. Um, the line kind of goes down, hits that, uh, that connection right there. Um, I had to take the whole thing off to be able to get the pump in and situate it. So what I ended up doing was removing the intake manifold so that I could get to that connection down there and tighten it properly instead of just, you know, trying to get it from over here. It's not, it's basically not even possible. So I just took the intake manifold off. We've got the moment of truth happening here. We've got our live wire tuner. We're gonna plug this in. We're gonna get our tune loaded up and we're gonna test this thing out and make sure that it's working like it should. And by the way, check out our big decals from Extreme DI. that's a wrap for today's video I hope you enjoyed it uh, let me know in the comment section down below what you think about this pump and the install um, thank you to extreme di for sponsoring the pump and they gave us gave me this awesome shirt right here lots of awesome decals for the truck and we can't wait to be back on the road and start data logging this e85 tune so keep your eyes peeled for that I'm gonna definitely gonna be putting a lot more videos out there about that whole process. So thank you guys for watching and we'll catch you guys later.